people who never see your content will never buy from you. That's like a fact, guys. You could have the best product in the world. You could solve their problem perfectly. Your product could be exactly what that person needs, but if they don't know it exists, really, you don't make a difference. They don't have a change in their life. They need you, so you need to have an audience. And I know firsthand what happens when you grow an audience, what happens to your business as it grows too. And I want that for you. And I also know how the algorithm works. The reality is in social media platform land, in the, the land of social media, people see what they engage with. So I want you to get insane results. And that happens by focusing on conversations and interactions with your future customers, bringing them from strangers to buyers to fans and to people who tell others about your product. So you have more people buying your product. Okay, now to do that, we tend to use engagement ads and boosts. I do have three different rules or like a litmus test. Should you do engagement ads? These three things will decide if engagement ads are right for you. If one, your goal is to grow an audience. If your goal is to grow an audience, engagement ads are amazing. They're like fuel for a fire. What do I mean by that? Facebook rewards you when people engage with your page and with your content, when they give you thumbs up, when they give you hearts, when they give you smile faces, you get to invite that person to like your page. This means that your audience grows and it grows authentically. No like ads, no fake fans, no vanity numbers. You have real people who really want to talk to you, who are really the perfect people for your product. Okay, so one, if your goal is to grow an audience, you want engagement ads. Second rule, if you're spending less than $50 a day, most of the time you want to do an engagement ad. If you're spending more than $50 a day, you might qualify, you might be ready for conversion ads. Conversion ads are like the next level. If you think you're spending more than 50 a day, head over there. Now the third litmus test, the third proof that you're, you should be creating engagement ads is if you're getting less than 50 sales. Less than 50 sales, less than 50 leads. So the way conversion ads work is the conversion measures an action. Well, let's say you don't have a lead magnet yet. Or let's say you, you hand embroider um, aprons. We have a customer who hand embroiders beautiful, gorgeous aprons. They're a one in a piece design. They're, they're beautiful. She can't make 50 of them at a time. She makes five, six a week. She's not making 50, so for her, the conversion ads is not a good fit. The way conversion ads work is that Facebook measures the number of conversions and then sends you more people just like that person who purchased from you. But if you have no conversions in a length of time, Facebook thinks your ad's not working and it kind of like causes it to go on the fritz. With engagement ads, you can get 50 engagements with just a couple of dollars of ad spend. So now the algorithm works for you and finds more people just like those 50. Let me give you another life example besides the, the, the aprons. This is Jen. Jen is a preschool teacher. She runs a preschool center and she can only have like 15, 50 students in her entire center. So every year when they open up enrollment, they can only take like a couple dozen kids. So knowing that she doesn't want to do conversion ads because the sheer, the, the limited seats, she only wants another 17 kids total. That's all she can have. So for her, she wants to do engagement ads because she wants to engage with her local community, the perfect people with her, nurture them and get them to come to one of her school open houses and see the school. Okay. So for you guys, the three roles, once again, is one, is your goal to grow an audience? Then you want to do engagement ads. Two, if you're spending less than $50 a day, you probably want to do engagement ads. Third one, if you're expecting less than 50 sales, you're probably going to want to do an engagement ad. 
Now, let's say you're like, wait a second, I am only spending $5 a day, but I'm expecting more than 50 sales. Then you still want to do an engagement ad. So if those tests, if one of those three is right for you, if one of those three, three test proofers, <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. If one of those is right for you, is, is check, yes, that's me, then engagement ads are for you. Now, before you begin, or the stage to do an engagement ad, you need to know three things. One, you have to have posts that you can ask people to engage on. So you have to create content, number one. Number two, you have to have people that you're going to target. So you need to know a little bit about your audience to know who you're going to target. So like Jen here, she's gonna to want to target people who like Montessori preschools in her town. She doesn't want the whole world, she just wants people within 25 mile radius of her school, right? For you, you want to think, who are those people that I want to target? So one, you need to have posts for them to engage with. Two, you need to know who you're going to target. And then three, you need to go and create the ad. I'm going to show you how to create the ad in just a second. But before I do that, I also want to tell you that there's a way you can create content in mere seconds. You don't have to work so hard to create those posts that people Think about because people are like, wait a second, it's an engagement ad. I'm gonna have to like work to create this content and then I've got to manage the engagement and I just wish I could just put an ad up and get a sale. And frankly, guys, you're gonna see that the ad prices go up and up as you don't get engagements. And this, tr this trick helps you get results without as much ad spend. So what I suggest doing is using the app. The app literally gives you all the ideas of posts that you could ever want. You can go in here and you can click and get a new post that you can copy and instantly post to your page. Get an idea, post it, and now you have content that you can run an engagement ad with. Okay, so you've got post. Now you need to know who to target. Hopefully you can think of who you would target. And three, let's head on in and we're gonna create an engagement ad together. So how do you create these ads? You go up here to the create button right here to add and you click on that. Guys, that's gonna open up your ads manager. This is your ads manager. If you don't have your ads manager set up yet, you're going to want to create your ads manager, you're gonna to wanna to get a pixel, and you're gonna to wanna to set it up inside of business manager. If you need help with that, let us know. We will be here to help you. We would love to help you. Okay, so you're gonna go in here, you're gonna create an ad. So we're gonna go here to the left sidebar and hit create. Once we're here, we're going to pick the option engagement ad because we're running engagement ads. We want to get not likes. We don't want page likes, although we will grow our audience with this tactic. We will grow our page likes, but what we're coming to get is actually post engagements. So I also turn off A-B testing and I turn off campaign budget optimization. Most likely, if you're like me, you're spending just a couple of dollars on these ads. So you're gonna need to have a lower budget and campaign budget optimization works the best with larger budgets. So we're gonna click here. And by larger budgets, I usually mean more than $50 a day. Name your ad sets, go on there here, you're gonna skip custom audience because we haven't learned how to make that yet. We're keeping it nice and simple. I want you to pick the country of where the people you serve and you sell your products to, where do they live? Pick that country here, pick the age of the audience that you serve, the gender of the audience you serve, the languages of the people you serve, and then right here, choose detailed targeting. I want you to pick people who fit like the interests of your, your niche. So for me, if I'm targeting cat people, I would say cats, cats as an interest because I'm targeting people who love cats. This is for you. What is that thing that your audience love? If it's not cats, maybe they're all into jujitsu. There you go, they're all into Brazilian jujitsu. Then that is the target that you're going to put down here in your detailed targeting pick people who match that topic. Okay, scroll on down. This is it guys. Set your daily budget. Um, I like to keep it to just a dollar or two for engagement ads because the purpose of these is not to spend a lot of money, it's to get the most engagements for the least ad spend. 
okay? And then I always set an end date. That way I don't accidentally blow through my budget. So I'll say, hey, I'm gonna spend $2 a day for three days. I'm only gonna spend the price of a cup of coffee, a venti, and I'm going to click the continue bar. And once I'm in there, guys, now I get to pick where this post is coming from. With an engagement ad, I suggest that you use an existing post. So because I have a bunch of pages here, I go in and pick my page, and then I pick an existing post. Select the post, there we go. I could post this one, any of these right here. That's, I could post this. This could go live from my page as an ad right here, an engagement ad. And next thing you know, it's off to the races, guys. It's super, super fun, super, super easy. Now, I'm not doing this ad for Pixel, so I could turn this off because I'm not actually tracking traffic to my website. I'm only getting engagement on my page with this post. Um, so you can leave this on if you want to, or you can take it off, whichever you prefer. And then you just hit confirm. And then your, pay, your ad is running. That's it, guys. Hasn't that been fun, guys? I am so grateful that you joined me in this process of learning how to create your engagement ads. Um, I want you to know we teach engagement stacking inside of our masterclass. It's basically a system that shows you how to put one post on top of the next post and the next post and teach the algorithm and teach your people to engage with your content. It's seriously one of the easiest and the fastest ways to explode your audience and grow your business. Want to learn more? Click below, guys. We have a masterclass just for you.